guys, Cameron Green Fitness here and I hope everyone's keeping safe during lockdown. I, on the other hand, have resorted to exposing fitness influencers. So I'm going to be starting off with Kino Body or Greg O'Gallagher and he massively promotes intermittent fasting. I've been following him on Instagram for a while and all he ever does is force feed you and funnel his Hollywood movie star actor body program. That were a mouthful. And the ridiculous thing is, just for a cookie cutter program, so a program that copies and pastes and just sends to every single person, he charges like $70 or £70, which is ridiculous to say you're having no sort of like interaction with him. So we're going to go through some of his videos and we're going to see if he knows what he's talking about. But if you're new to the channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button and leave this video with a like because there's going to be a couple more videos like this coming up. So one of his biggest videos is called The Real Bruce Wayne Reveal. So straight away he's associating himself with a, a superhero. My name is Gregory O'Gallagher and I'm 24 years old. So a nice slow-mo view of his massive mansion, straight away insinuating that he's extremely successful. What it doesn't say is that it was bought with daddy's money. My name is Gregory O'Gallagher and this house was bought with daddy's money. I believe in taking care of myself, in maintaining a lean and powerful body and striving each day for self-improvement. You can't argue that the guy's got a ridiculous physique. He's really good, he's really lean all year round. And he's got that kind of body that if you saw someone on the beach with it, you'd be like, right, I want that sort of body. So props to him for having extremely good genetics for that because he looks really athletic all year round. Even though I've just woken up, I won't eat for eight hours. This increases fat mobilization, boosts mental alertness, and has profound health benefits. So straight away he's talking about intermittent fasting where in essence you shorten your eating window to six or eight hours, which in turn is just a glorified calorie deficit. So if you've got less time to eat, then obviously you're gonna consume less calories. However, he fails to mention that going through day to day you need energy and you get energy in calories. So you're gonna feel horrendous and especially if you're training, you're gonna feel really fatigued and you're gonna to struggle to progressively overload. To blunt my hunger, I'll drink sparkling water. Two to three hours later, I'll drink black coffee, a very powerful appetite suppressor. He doesn't just drink regular water, he drinks San Pellegrino. But on the point of coffee and caffeine, if you're in a calorie deficit or you're dieting, caffeine is an appetite suppressant, so it's actually really good for helping you get through the hunger pains. Intermittent fasting has been the most powerful health discovery I have ever made. It has made staying lean and building muscle effortless. Right, building muscle with intermittent fasting is debatable. Potentially, yes, you can build muscle if you're new to the training stimulus, so if you're brand new to training, but if you're an advanced athlete or you've been training for a while, you're gonna have to be in a calorie surplus. If you're in a deficit, you might build muscle, but it's gonna be extremely, extremely slowly. Activity, and it's given me the freedom to eat like a king every day. How does it let you eat like a king? Kings don't limit the eating window. Kings eat what they want, when they want. How's living like a king? Your friend's asking you to go for breakfast and you've been like, oh no, sorry, I can't, intermittent fasting. I simply feel fantastic. Now, anyone who's dieted or been in a calorie deficit before knows that you don't feel fantastic because you're essentially starving your body of food. That way your body uses its fat cells to burn as energy and it gets you through the day. But the key word here being you're starving your body. So you're going to feel fatigued, you're going to feel shit, you're going to feel tired. It don't make you feel fantastic. Maybe when you've eaten, yeah, because you've looked forward to a meal for so long. But especially prior to that, no, you don't feel fantastic. If it happens to be a workout day, I'll hit the gym hard. I only lift three times per week. This maximizes muscular and neural recovery and provides the fastest rate of strength gain. So it says there that he trains fasted. If you're gonna progressively overload and increase the weights each session, session, each session, then how do you expect to do that on an empty stomach? You need calories, you need fuel. And he also says that he only trains three times a week, so I'm guessing it's gonna be whole body programs. I believe in honing your training down to the essential movements that create the perfect physique, and then becoming really strong at them. Fantastic. He focuses his workout on compound lifts. He has revolutionized fitness. For my key movements, I always perform the heaviest set first, followed by two progressively lighter sets with full rest periods. This style of training 
allows me to come into the gym stronger each and every session. Right, so you've got to imagine that if he's training three times per week and he's doing three working sets, then across a total of a week he's only getting nine working sets, when optimum levels in terms of research is 20 to 24. So is he really doing enough volume? Since I was six years old, I wanted to crack the code to building an amazing body that was strong, powerful, and awe-inspiring. I'm 24, and I can honestly say, without a shred of doubt, I've cracked that code. And since sharing it, it's unlocked the limitless potential of the thousands of people who are following it daily. Brilliant. So here comes a montage of random people who are in relatively decent shape. There's no before and after photos, there's no relevance as to how he's helped them. It's just a case of, here's some relatively athletic people, I'm gonna get you in this shape. Where's the testimonials? Where's the proof that you've actually helped these people instead of just sending them a workout, hoping that they're accountable and then taking the progress photos and using it wherever? My name is Gregory O'Gallagher. It's time for you to unleash your potential. Right, end of the first video. He's a good looking chap, he's got an extremely good physique, but he's just glorifying intermittent fasting way too much. Right, we're gonna move on to the second video, and this one's called Intermittent Fasting Day in the Life. So let's see what he does. What's going on? My name is Greg O'Gallagher, Hollywood physique expert, and today I'm gonna to show you everything I'm gonna eat and the training I'm gonna to do to get completely and absolutely shredded for summer. So this stuff is not what oh, people are teaching. This is hair. against the grain. All right, so it's first thing in the morning, and you're probably thinking, what am I gonna have for breakfast? Some bananas, some protein, some omelets, some oats. Well, actually, like I say, the best breakfast is no breakfast. We're doing intermittent fasting. We no! <laughs> you got me there, Greg. You got me there. Black coffee to strategically blunt our appetite, and fasting is really gonna force your body to burn fat. You're gonna see crazy results because what happens when you fast is, you know, growth hormone levels go up, insulin levels are low, and your body is forced to tap into body fat. So people think breakfast is the most important meal of the day. The research says otherwise. No, your body taps into fat storage to use as energy if you're in a calorie deficit. It doesn't matter if you're eating through an eight hour window or a 12 hour window or what. If you're in a calorie deficit, you're going to lose weight. All right, we're headed to get my body fat tested. I've been cutting for a few weeks. I'm down four pounds of fat. So I want to make sure that I'm just losing fat, I'm maintaining my muscle, I'm going to see exactly what body fat I'm at. So he's going through his body fat testing. In terms of his physique, I'm going to guess at about the 9% range. There's no chance he's any leaner, because otherwise he'd be able to step on stage, and his skin isn't really that thin. At 8%, 7%, 6%, your skin is literally like a ball sack. It looks like if you were to grab a balloon, that stretchy, and especially on his abs and on his chest, it doesn't look that thin. Got my skin, and I'm at 7.6% body fat. So this also shows us that the last three years, I've kept my body is that fat what said? between six and 8%. You are not at 7% body fat. It might just be a case if you've got extremely good genetics, but you are not that lean. You aren't ready to step on stage. There's no chance. Look at him. There's no vascularity. His skin doesn't look thin. You are not 7% body fat. All right, so we're on the way to the gym, and it's about 12.30, so I've been fasting. Quick little posh flex. Woke up, and I have not eaten anything. I've just had some sparkling water, a little coffee, and my body's been burning fat the whole time. When you're fasting, your body is forced to tap into the fat stores. So the energy you want to be using when you train isn't the food for energy. It's not as efficient as using muscle glycogen. When you train and lift and burn through muscle glycogen, it's actually a lot more effective. And furthermore, when you deplete your muscle glycogen, then when you eat, your body's getting used to storing and stocking up more muscle glycogen for faster training than if you were to train with food in your stomach. So you get really good fullness when you train and lift intensely in the fasted state. It doesn't matter when you eat if it's over the same 24 hour period. If you're in a deficit, your body will still use fat for energy. A lot of people think you have to eat every few hours to get protein in. You can only absorb 30 grams of protein per day, and that's actually a myth supplemented by the supplement industry. Because Hang on. Hang on, did he just say supplemented? Because they wanted you to buy their protein shakes, their meal replacements, because it's really hard to cook, clean, and prepare multiple meals throughout the day. Coffee, sparkling water, pre-workout and amino acids. My body is completely pumped. Now the crazy thing is, when I go and eat, my body is primed to take those calories and store it in muscle tissue. 
fasting and training improves nutrient partitioning. It better allows you to take those calories, take those carbs, take that protein, and use it for muscle growth, not for fat gain. So the power of training fast is really amazing at making an anabolic stimulus for when you eat. No, that doesn't make sense. The only way you're going to gain fat is if you're in a calorie surplus. If you're intermittent fasting and you're in a calorie deficit, there's no chance that you're going to gain fat. So your body's not going to store it as fat. Now I'm actually going to eat like 1,200 to 1,300 calories. Because I'm only eating a couple times a day, I need to eat a lot of food, which is really fun and rewarding. So you're about to see how much food I'm about to eat on this cut while losing fat. And in total, I'm going to be looking at doing about 2,200 calories to lose fat but maintain muscle. Amazing. It's a protein in here, and you know what? One of the myths that I hear people say is that carbs will make you fat. And the truth of the matter is that if you're in a calorie deficit, carbs actually help you maintain your muscle, maintain your higher metabolism, and keep your testosterone levels higher. Low carb diets suppress testosterone levels and will suppress your metabolism. So you actually want carbs, but you want to do it while being in a calorie deficit. Whew. I am getting really full. I can't imagine how people, how some people try and lose fat, eating tiny little meals, cutting out carbs. This is the way to do it. I am so satisfied and I still have a bunch of calories left. So in terms of two meals per day, you're telling me that it's getting 180 grams of protein. So it's about 90 grams of protein per meal. Right now, that eating at night will make you store fat or eating carbs at night will make you store fat. And that's simply not true. It's about calories in versus calories out. If you eat less calories than your body burns, you will lose fat. Even if you eat a huge meal right before bed, that's just how the body works. It's science. Thank you. He's explained the law of thermodynamics. Brilliant. So he's just admitting it's a glorified calorie deficit. The cheese quesadillas are like a really healthy, lower calorie alternative to if you love cheese nachos or pizza. You get the delicious taste of melted cheese and some carbs. So when you follow the strategy to a T, you will feel like you're cheating. You're like, how is it possible? I'm eating steak, french fries, cheese quesadillas, and melting off fat and gaining muscle. It is like, it almost is too good to be true. So his second meal was the quesadillas. Am I pronouncing that right? Where's the protein in that? Food. And then found a better strategy. All right, so there you have it. I'm eating amazing meals, chocolate, fries, chicken, and I'm losing fat and getting leaner and maintaining. So his final meal, he's decided to treat himself and have a peanut butter cup. Where is the protein? How is he gonna maintain his muscle? He's just not, this is not what he eats in a day to maintain and get in that shape. So you're telling me in that first meal, he had around 180 grams of protein. But if you want to be able to build an amazing Hollywood body and enjoy life, then this strategy works so well. So I made the physique quiz to find out what's your body type and how to take you from point A to point B, that lean, chiseled physique. So this stuff works amazing. I can't wait for you to try it. And that's it. The video finishes on him shoving his program down your throat for only $70. I don't understand how he does it. I really don't. I'm going to guess it in this video he's probably eating about... 60, 70 grams of protein at an absolute max. And you think that's someone of his shape that's going to maintain their muscle mass? No. No, you don't have to eat like a bodybuilder out of Tupperware. But if you want to optimise results, you have to be getting your protein count. Ugh. A pretentious rich boy trying to relate to the population. The best workout for you is one that you can adhere to and one that fits within your routine. The best diet for you is one that fits in your routine and one that you can adhere to. Please stop buying from influencers who try to sound intelligent with glorified terms. It's not some sort of magic recipe. Right, enough for Kino body. So that's the end of the video. If you've enjoyed it, then do make sure you leave it a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you next time where, again, I'll be exposing some fitness influencers. Peace!